All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today I've bought a model of car that I've never actually bought before. This rarely happens. With the kind of stock that I carry on my forecourt, you do get lots of repeats, but not today. What I've bought is a 2020 Kia e Nero. Do you remember the TV adverts at the time featuring Robert De Niro? Pizza for De Niro and the Kia e Nero. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Well, I bought one of those. I think they did a diesel, which they should have called a De Niro, but they didn't. They did a hybrid, a petrol, and also a full EV. And that's what we're going to collect today. Exciting. I've paid £12,000 for this e-Nero, so on the face of it at least, it does seem like a bit of a bargain. It's only a three-year-old car, it's still under manufacturer warranty for another three years, three and a half years. And it's been described to me as being in good order, so I'm just praying it doesn't need an awful lot of work to get it up to four-court standard. The only negative with it really is it's quite high mileage. It's done 91,000 miles. This one's been busy, haven't they? I'm guessing this has been a reps car or a company car or something like that. Nobody normal does 30,000 miles a year, do they? Especially in an EV. Now, I don't want to be all negative, but I don't think I'm going to have a massive profit margin out of this. I'm thinking it's probably worth 13.5, maybe 13.995. So I do have to be quite careful with my spend. I'm hoping it doesn't need four tyres and discs and pads and all that sort of stuff. I went to London last December, a couple of times actually, and I was using Uber all day long. And the amount of e Neros that picked me up, well, I think that was the most popular Uber. And I remember being quite impressed with them, so I'm hoping this one's all right. Because it's done a number of miles, it should be quite cheap compared to other low mileage examples. So it might end up being sold as an Uber. Who knows? Right, anyway, I'll see you there. Well, we're here. Uh, it looks all right, actually. It's very dirty, needs a good clean. What badges are those? Somebody has put some, what looks like hideous eBay badges all over it. Oh, it's got a nice 3D plate. Very classy, isn't it, that? I just love a 3D plate. We've got a green union flag thing as well on the corner of the plate. The number plate clinic, BL2 2DL, is that Bolton? Uh, it looks all right, that, you know? I mean, it's sort of a white good, isn't it, really? Like a fridge freezer or a wash machine. It's not something that makes me bite the back of my hand, but it looks all right. Mm. I think it wants a couple of tires. This is one issue with EVs, because of the weight, they do uh, burn through the rubber quite quickly. Well, that looks all right, you know. I'm hoping we can spin this around quite quickly. Right, as always then, I'm just gonna do a quick vehicle history check using Car Vertical. Now it's really easy to use this. All you do is go to carvertical.com. So you can either type in the VIN or the reg. Now in this case, we know the reg is Mike Foxtrot 2.0 NBA. Look at that. This will tell us whether it's ever been stolen, written off, had a mileage rollback, or has outstanding finance on it. And it checks databases in dozens of countries. It checks hundreds of millions of cars. So it's a very thorough check, this. Sometimes it even shows photographs of the last time the car was advertised, or if it's been in a bump, sometimes there's photographs of the accident that it had. So it is definitely worth doing. By the way, if you want to do these checks for yourself, and I urge you to do so before you hand over any cash for a used car or motorbike, they used to offer 10% with my promo code. They've now upped it to 20%. So my promo code is HIGHPEAK, all one word, and you get 20% off each and every check that you do. How's that? And there we go, the report is ready. So, it's never been clocked, there's no outstanding finance, there's no recorded damage, that's good. And it's last MOT, which incidentally was its first MOT, that was in Feb 23. So it is due in MOT. It had done 70,140 miles at that point. It has been busy, hasn't it, this? That is a 2020 Kia Nero Estate, electric, automatic. Right, okay, one owner. One owner rider. I think these have a 64 kilowatt hour battery, so that should give us a range of 180 miles, maybe? Hopefully. I mean, bear in mind, it's done 90,000 miles now, so the range won't be what it once was. Let's go and have a look then, while the weather's still dry. I've got some keys somewhere for it. Hang on a second. Not that one. There we go. So we've got two keys, which was a good start. It does look all right, to be honest, but this is what I was saying about these badges. What are those badges? It's almost like a master badge, and it does look like someone's just stuck them on top. But for what purpose? Why would you bother? We've got a Aptani on the back on about mm, three and a half mil of tread. Brake discs look okay on the back. 
is it dark blue or grey this? Can't really tell. Got some very snazzy uh, 3D plates there, look at that. Oh yes, nice braille plates. What's going on with these badges? Should I leave them or should I do some new ones? I don't know. Seven year warranty, quality redefined. It's just very, very dirty. Oh, wing mirrors have come out to greet me there. Uh, up front we've got another Apatani on about three mil of tread. Not the best to be honest, but all right, passable. Body wheel looks very tidy. You'd expect this has done 90,000 miles for it to be quite chippy on the front end and it's, I mean, it's difficult to tell with this sort of uh, layer of water on it, rain on it, but it doesn't look chippy. Oh, looks quite good actually. I'm not a big fan of the blue accents though. I don't know why they've bothered with that. This side, this was the tyre that looked a little bit low on my drive-by inspection. That's on about two and a half mil, I would say. Hmm. I think we need a couple of a couple of new front tyres then, guys. Quite tidy down here. I think with a good clean, it would clean up all right, this. Hmm, that's quite... I think we're into a set of tyres, you know. They're from 2022, but the sidewall's quite sort of cracked. Yeah, I don't like that. I think we're into a set of tyres. So that's going to cost me 350 I guess, for a set. Let's have a look inside, shall we? So we've got keyless entry. There we go. Full leather interior. It's very, very dirty. I say very dirty, just wants a good... A good valet. We've got electric seats. The bolster isn't all worn and abused, that's quite good. We've got a rotary dial here, like a Range Rover, although it doesn't feel as good quality. Heated seats, heated steering wheel. Quite a good spec, this. Locking wheel nut, that's all good. Service book there. Should have a look under the bonnet, the engine. All we're going to see now is loads of plastic. Oh, look at that. So there's a uh, 12 volt battery there from the RAC. Loads of space under here. And some cobwebs. Right, nothing to see here then. Can't check the oil level, can I? Because it doesn't have any. Need some screen wash. Can we find any goodies? It's the best part of my job. Oh, we've got mats over mats. That's one of those things that you put in your tumble dryer, isn't it? Right, I think this has been a family car because I can see lots of sand and stuff. Someone's had a, a trip to the beach here. Day out to rail or something. What's this gross thing? Oh, I don't know. This is what quite impressed me when I used Uber in London and got in several e Neros. Look at the legroom. There's loads of legroom. So they do make a really good uh, good Uber. Let's have a look in the boot. Have you got a power tailgate or not? No. No, it doesn't. Oh, we've got the lead though. This is the other drama that I'm finding now. As I, as I buy more and more EVs, people often just hold back the charging leads and then stick them on eBay because they know they're going to get 100 pounds extra for it. Then I, of course, have to go and buy one. But in this case, we're all good. We've got the original badges right there going back on, guys. The original badges are there, that is a result. Get rid of those hideous things that are on it currently. God knows why somebody's bothered, but no accounting for taste, is there? This is just a, a good clean away from being a, a decent retail car, I think. Try and figure out how to work this camera. That'd help, wouldn't it? Let's have a look at this service history then. In fact, it's quite a chilly day today. Oh, we've got a JBL sound system, look at that. All yeah, right. Start it up. They're quite beepy, aren't they, EVs? No diggity. no diggity. 
always reminds me of a uh, karaoke bar I went in with my dad in Vegas that some guy got up and did this and he was like a 60 year old white guy typical sort of American with a uh, check shirt and his phone on his belt he was really drunk he got up and did this song in front of everyone and then just collapsed at the bar anyway that's Vegas for you now we've got a range of 18 miles so we're in low power mode according to that little amber battery sign there we've got a compass it's done 91,517 miles uh, okay then so we're on Kistery. What else can I show you? Monty Bojangles, I don't know what that is. Some sort of snack. Right, service history then. I don't really know what you can service on one of these, but at least it's got plenty. So it's been done every year. There we go, perfect. Oh yeah, there's plenty of history. It's used a lot of miles, don't they? Every, every four months or something, it's done 10K. Last one done at 82. Right, well that'll do then. That'll do. All Bolton Kia. Horwich. Perfect. So I'll put my seat on, steering wheel on. That's the sound of my uh, handbrake releasing. Got a rear camera up there. Is quite modern this, quite like it. Should we take this for a drive then and see how it performs? What I'm gonna to have to do actually with 17 miles range is either go to work and plug it in and leave it overnight or try and find a public charging point. That'll be fun, won't it? Right, well this is new for me. This is the first time driving a Kia e Nero, e Nero, as they would have said in Bolton when they sold it. Well, so far, it's like every EV, it's silent, which is nice when you're a bit hungover. Brakes are a bit grindy. Could just be because it's been sitting now. Should we do a performance test? Right, there is no real performance with it. I mean, it's all right, but it wasn't, didn't pin me into my chair like I was expecting it to. I suspect that's because we're in low battery mode. It's trying to protect every last mile in its range. Feels quite nice though. Steering wheel's getting warm, as is my seat. Handles quite nicely, I suppose. Rides quite nicely. You've only got one gear, so it's seamless. There are no clunky gear changes. It's all right, this actually. Is it pulling to the left slightly? I think, go on then, I'll let you cross. Even though you're jaywalking. I think it needs a set of tires. So I'll run it to my mechanics, get those replaced. Then take it to the valeters, get it cleaned up, swap the badges over. I think we've got a retail car. If I can spend maybe £500 on it, so it'd owe me twelve five, and then maybe ask thirteen five for it. It's not the greatest of returns, to be honest, but I don't really know this market, so I'd rather spin it around quickly rather than be too greedy and have it sitting there for months and months and months. It's all right, though, this. I can see why people buy them. I think what we're going to do then, because we're in low power mode, is try and get some juice from somewhere. I can't go to the SO, can I? There is around the back of the garage. They were building these for weeks and weeks and weeks. They took seven or eight parking bays and then replaced them with three EV parking bays. I've never actually used them yet, so we'll go and see how they work. Always the optimist answer. Right, here we go then. So there are three bays. Which one do we want? So we've got a B, oh, that's the brand, isn't it? BV, rapid charger, 50 kilowatt charger. DC. I don't know what this means. Oh, we've got a rapid charge. I don't think this will do a rapid charge, will it? Should we try it? We'll try it then. Uh, D what kind of plug? What kind of dog is this? What kind of plug do I need? CCS. Do I have a CCS? I don't know what that means. Oh, this is why I hate EVs. I struggle with iPhone chargers. I was at the gym the other day, my wireless headphone AirPod things, one wouldn't work. I was getting very annoyed with it. Let's go and try and figure this out then. Right, so that's that then. We've got two points here.
Right. Is this a is that a CCS? If you've got an EV at home, by the way, you're probably wetting yourself watching me try and figure this out because I don't know what I'm doing. Won't let me have it, so let's just try and pay then, shall we? Card payment, here we go. Start charge. Tap card. Well, that was quite pain, painless. So it's charged me five pounds. Select your connector. Is that what we've got? Oh, I do. That's a result, isn't it? Fits like a glove. Is that it? Are we on? Connect your vehicle and press start. Starting, please wait. It's making some noises, some clicking. I can hear a big fan starting up. That's got to be good news. Has that worked? Ah, it's working. This is making me eat my words, isn't it? So it's on 6% and I've got no idea how much this is costing me, but it doesn't really matter, does it? At least it's taking a charge. Right, well, let's leave it there then. Of course, the only drama now is, I'm, well, I can walk up to the garage, can't I? Just get another car and carry on with my day. That's what I'll have to do. I'll leave this here for a couple of hours. Um, Okay then, where are we up to with this car? Once it's charged, I'll take it down to my mechanics, order the tyres, get them to check it over. Oh, give it a fresh MOT as well, because that runs out soon. And then yeah, I'll have an update for you shortly, hopefully. And we're back in the E-Nero. Now, after I left it on charge last time, I left it on charge overnight. So the next morning I went to it, expecting it to be fully charged. I thought I'd have a range of 220 miles or so. That wasn't the case. It didn't work. It wouldn't take the charge for some reason. I didn't know that. It said it was working, so I left it, obviously, thinking it was working, and it wasn't. When I got to it the next morning, I had a range of 15 miles. This is the problem with EVs. I hate technology, and I just pull my hair out with it. As it turns out, and don't laugh now, this might have been an operator error. I think I had it plugged in the fast charge, the 150 kilowatt hour plug-in thing. So I unplugged it from there, and instead plugged it into the neighboring machine, which was a 50 kilowatt hour charge, and it seemed to work fine, so... <laughs> It might have been my fault. Still, that kind of messed up my plans because I was hoping to take it down to my mechanic to start the work, and of course I couldn't. So instead, a few hours later, I went back to it and it was fully charged, and it had a range of 247 miles, which was quite impressive, more than I anticipated anyway. Better late than never, I took it down to my mechanics for a clean MOT and a general check over. The next morning, my mechanic called me to say, right, that Kia Nero's done. All I needed was one tire. So I thought, right, well, that's a bit of a result because I thought this needed two, possibly four, but it just needed one for its MOT. I picked it up from there, ran it back to work, ripped off those horrendous 3D reg plates. I hate those things. Pulled those off. I also pulled off the old badges. I ordered some new reg plates with high peak autos on from Harrods, which are a local motor component shop. I drilled those and screwed them in all by myself, I might add. And I think that was it. From there, then, I took it for a full valet at Tameside Detailing. And there we are, I think. So I haven't spent a fortune on it, which is good because I haven't got a huge profit margin in this. If you remember, I paid £12,000 for it. When I loaded it into AutoTrader to create my advert, it said, well, it gave me a suggested retail price of 13495 which is what it's advertised for. Which means it isn't a great return on investment, to be honest. I'd have liked a slightly bigger margin to lay out £12,000, but this job's swings and roundabouts. It's full of that kind of stuff. Some you'll make a couple of grand on, others you'll make 500 quid on. It's just one of those things. I actually lent this car out to my brother for a couple of days while his car's in for repair, and he commented on what a nice thing it was, what an effortless car it was to drive. It does need another wash though now, so I'll get that done and then put it back on the forecourt. So all that's left to do then, ladies and gents, is talk you through my costs. I wish I'd had this e Nero in when I did that living with an EV video for seven days. This would have been much better than that EV sold. I've currently got about 90% battery left and it showed me a range of 233 miles. So realistically, you're probably getting 200 miles from this, which is pretty good, actually. Right, so let me talk you through my costs then. Here we go. Always worry when I hear a beep. So I paid £12,000 for the car, £70 on a valet, £52 on electricity. Quite expensive, isn't it, that, on public charging points? 52 quid. £40 on an MOT. £70 on a tyre, 
and 15 pounds on some plates. So that takes my total to uh, 12,247 12, pounds. So if I can get my asking price of 13,495, which I really hope that I do, I personally think as soon as this is advertised, it's going to sell to a taxi firm or something, to be honest, in London or another big city. If I do get my asking price of 13495 then it'll leave me a profit of 1250 which of course isn't to be sniffed at, it's just, it's only, you know, a 10% return, I'd like 15 or 20 But anyway, 1250 And there we go, I've never had an e-Nero before, so I can tick that one off my list. Right, well thank you once again for watching, make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok, I'll leave the link below. And yeah, cheers guys, see you next time.